When you entertain at home and you start to think about what you're going to serve your guests, often the very first thing you do after you think about having the party is just throw out the word healthy. That just goes out the window. But Terry Barrison, a registered dietitian for the Dairy Council of Arizona, says it's really not that hard to host a healthy party. And it's still delicious. So this morning, three parties that really work. Good morning. It's good to see good you. Good morning, Stephanie. That's right. You really can incorporate some healthy items as well, regardless of what your theme is for your party. So if you're doing kind of a more upscale, more elegant kind of thing, incorporate a cheese plate. Provide a variety of different cheeses. Provide some fruits, some whole grain crackers. What that does, the cheese provides one of those three servings of milk, cheese, or yogurt that you need for each day. And it's great tasting, and it looks great on your table. So all of the beautiful tablescapes that you're doing today, this These would look fit right fabulous. In there. Yeah. It would look fabulous on there and provide some additional healthy options for you. When you why not serve flavored milk? to even grown-ups and put it in a martini glass, a margarita glass. You can even like rim the sides with, rim the edge with colored sugar or that mm. sort of thing. And it looks great and it's elegant and it's a great option to get Sometimes that. Sometimes it's just the serving. vessel to be able to get it in, you know, to, it to, to eat it, to consume it. It that. is and it makes it fun and it makes it more enjoyable. So why not go yeah, for it? Yeah, absolutely. We also have for a bunco party, um, here's a hot pizza dip that just is some um, uh, cream cheese, low-fat sour cream, some pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, serve that with whole grain crackers, and you're going to be getting a serving of, of uh, your dairy, a serving of vegetable, and then also some whole grain. So again, you're getting those nutrients, in, and this can be one of the items that you're serving throughout the day. That looks delicious. So that's wonderful. That's going to the next party I go to. It's very quick and easy to do, and it is delicious. You can also take some frozen yogurt and make it into dice, and just use <laughs> it. Just use an um, these are the ice mold, and these are circles. These are blueberries, and it's yogurt, and it's very simple to put together and make them into little. They, you can swirl them into glasses of milk and make it a flavor. In you your actually milk. got the one, like all. The, how did you do that? <laughs> You start by putting one in the bottom, okay. and then put some yogurt in there, and then you've got the first layer, and then you would put the dice, the, the dice dots that would be the blueberries onto the next layer, and then put a little bit of more yogurt in there, then put what would go in the middle for each side, and then a little more yogurt, and then what would go for the top, and then a little more yogurt. Put your craft That's stick in cool. there and freeze it, and there you go. Done the show a long time, never seen that. That's a, a first. great option for <laughs> like a local that. party, or it could be also for a kids' party. So if you're doing a kids' party, we've got some healthy options as well. It doesn't just have to be, um, you know, cake and candy and high sugar things. It can also be some nutritious things as well. This is sort of melting, but it's frozen yogurt. What is this? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a frozen yogurt, um, strawberries in the blender, mm. and then it's got a crust of a whole grain um, granola, low-fat granola cereal, and it's a great little option. Option, sort of like a mock cheesecake, very healthy, full of nutrients, and really easy to make. And just blend it together, throw it in the freezer, and there you go. If you want to get the kids involved in doing something and have some type of activity for them, why not have a flavored milk bar? We have here some, they're just cheese shakers, and we've put powdered jello in them. And you can go ahead and just let the kids make their own and put the jello in and stir it up and it allows it to make it all different colors and flavors. The kids get to do their own. It's great fun. It's a great way to be interactive and it gets the kids to drink their milk, which means they're getting the calcium, the protein, and the nine other essential nutrients that they need to be able to get their bones strong and we all need. This is fun so. for the adults, too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I and could and say, you know, this is just child's play, but not so much. But why not do that? That's right. And you can use any flavor you want. It makes it color. It makes it fun. And it provides one of those three servings of milk, cheese, or yogurt that you need for the day. So why not get those nutritious things in a fun way, incorporate them into your party. That's not saying you don't have to have everything be healthy, but incorporate some healthy options as well. Well, and I was saying that even if you do this at a kid's party, you know, the printables are mm -hmm. the kind of the big thing. So anybody that does kids entertaining, you know, you print out something, they're free. Some of them, some right. of them you can buy. We've shown them on the show. You cut it out, you put it right there, and you wrap a ribbon, and then, you know, it could say what flavor whatever it flavor is. it is or whatever cute little expression you came up with. So... I Absolutely. like that idea for kids. So when you are entertaining, go all out with the tablescapes and everything and incorporate some of those healthy items into your menu as well so that you get a variety of foods, get those nutrient-rich foods in there, get one of your three servings of milk, cheese, or yogurt, and you're really providing your guests that healthy option as well. And I think they do appreciate it. I 
think they absolutely do. Thank you so much. Yes. We appreciate you. you coming on the show. And you can find more information on this segment on SonoranLiving.com. And make sure that you also head over to the Dairy Council of AZ.org to get more information as well.